Hey guys. How's it going? So this is the first video in a series of game development vlogs which will be detailing the creation of a game that me and Laughing Man, with the help of Fubu, are working on called Harrow Home. Now some of you may have already seen the uh, proof of concept video that we did, but this series is going to be more of an inside look into the process and the overall journey of creating a game. So going from that proof of concept to an actual game you can download and buy on Steam and play from beginning to end. I will be trying to get a video out every Monday, however, if you are familiar with this channel, you will take that with a grain of salt. So the idea of this series is to help gain some traction, um, to document our progress, and also to help keep our noses to the grindstone as you guys kind of follow along and watch us as we progress. Now, some of you may know that I recently just graduated university with a first in game design, so I have a lot more free time now that I can use to spend on the project, and hopefully we can make some headway. We plan on releasing um, by Halloween of next year, so that's our target. And with that being said, let me take you through what we have so far. Now please keep in mind that this is a very, very, very early version of the game. What we are doing right now is going through a process called white boxing, wherein we focus first and foremost on the game mechanics and we use placeholder graphics in place of where the final graphics will be because we haven't yet commissioned those. And so this is by no means what the final project will look like, but it will give you an idea of how things work and kind of the ideas that we are shooting for. So there's not a lot of audio or visual polish yet. And as we speak, Laughing Man is experimenting with some visual techniques to help turn some of FUBU's very distinct art into fully fledged animated video game characters. But of course that will take more progress. We need to commission more art from Mel, which in addition means that we need to save up some Patreon money and also that we need to get cracking on the other game that we were working on called Your Boyfriend, which is a separate project. So let me take you through what we have. All right, let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. And hallelujah. All right, so let me take you through what we have so far. Okay, now as you can see, the protagonist's sprite is Jennifer Simpson from the uh, SNES Clock Tower game. And that's because the feel of our game and the general like gameplay is going to be kind of similar to that game. And so we decided to use her sprites as a template until we get the final ones that we will be using for our final project. When you're in the early stages of these games, it's really important that you do not spend a lot of money on the visual stuff straight away because you don't know if anything's going to work properly and then you would have wasted your money. And so what you will often find in the white boxing stage of creating games is that people will just use sprites from anywhere. It doesn't really matter where as long as you replace it with your own stuff before you release because you don't want to get into copyright trouble. So right now we have the basic movement. Um, this isn't going to be what the final movement looks like. This is just literally just for testing purposes. Um, and if you right click, you can have different functions of what the cursor will do. You can either inspect, um, use an item if you have any, or just use this to kind of click around and move if you want. Um, the doors don't do anything at the moment, they're just there for decoration. Um, I'm going to be programming that later. We really wanted to focus on getting the lighting right just for this kind of scene to kind of experiment with how we wanted the camera system to work and how we wanted the environments to work. Because if I come out of here for a second, if I go ahead and blow this up, you will see that this is actually a 3D space. Um, and this is a 2D texture. But what I have done is I have put a normal map over the top and so it kind of looks 3D even though it's not. Um, it's, a, it's a technique that a lot of game designers use and you see it a lot of times in like uh, fantasy games if there's like cobblestones on the floor, they're not going to animate each and every little tiny peak of the cobblestones. And so the best thing to do is use a normal map. It's very effective. Um, I mean, it really looks like these are actual tears and stuff and when the lighting hits it, it looks really good. Um, that is a tip that I got from my programming professor at uni. So not a complete waste of money, just the majority of it. And as you can see, this is um, Fubu's artwork. Um, and we're obviously not going to be using the same thing of wallpaper over and over again. This is again, just a kind of like a, a test. Another thing that I kind of want to show you is the menu system. Um, none of the menu options actually do anything at the moment because I haven't programmed the screens for them yet, but um, this is the uh, 
the menu and it's going to be like a notepad because the main character is going to be a journalist. And so um, say if you were to click on the map, which again, this is just um, a temporary piece of artwork. We will be having our own thing later on, but we're going to have like a, a notepad that when you press the map function, the page will like flip over and it will animate and then the map will be there and then you, it will flip back and so it will look like you're going through your notes as if you are an actual journalist and you're frantically looking for clues in your notes that you've taken. And so that's pretty much what we have at the moment. Um, it doesn't look like much right now, but again, a lot of this is still kind of in the brainstorming thing. Um, we still have to kind of finish the game design document, which is a very important uh, piece of documentation if you're going to be creating games. I might cover that in the next episode, depending on if we get it finished by then or not. Um, another thing that we need to work on is the map for the game. Now, in general, most games you don't need to worry about the map. However, in this game, exploration is going to be a big part of it. And so, like, the game's story and the progress is kind of mapped out to be mapped. If that makes any sense. And so having the actual layout um, at the beginning is going to be very advantageous for planning, you know, which routes do you mind on planning which routes are going to be kind of blocked off, which doors you can and can't go into yet, which are going to be locked, where a key is going to be, that kind of thing. Um, in the proof of concept video, we could see the uh, overlay that Laughing Man created, the shader, which kind of made everything look pixelated. This doesn't have that quite yet because I wanted to play around with the lighting first and see what that kind of looked like. Um, and we are still playing with the idea of if we want the main character to kind of just be a sprite sheet like this, or if we wanted to have it animated in the style that Laughing Man kind of showed off in the proof of concept video. And as you may have seen before, the FUBU has whipped up a lot of concept art for this game, which we are very happy with. Um, I'm not going to show it all to you. Uh, those of you who donate to us already on Patreon may have already seen some of it and um, it's very impressive and we are very excited to see what else you can come up with. Um, this very much is a work in progress at the moment, but I hope you can kind of sense the style that we're going for. This game is going to be set in a boarding school. Um, the time period the game takes place in is like the it's kind of 50s, 60s but the uh, boarding school has been abandoned since the 40s and that's where the important events preceding the game took place to kind of give you a rough idea i'm not going to go too much into the plot um because we do want to keep some things kind of secret you know for people to play when they finally are able to yeah it's going to be uh interesting to uh to see how this develops so that is what we have so far um, as you can see, we have a long way to go yet, but I hope that you guys will join us on our game development journey. If you would like to help us along the way, the best thing that you can do is to become a YouTube subscriber, click the notification bell, and leave comments down below. And if you like what we're doing with Harrow Home, or with our other project, the erotic horror visual novel, Your Boyfriend, in collaboration with the FUBU, and you want to help support us just that little bit more, then you can become a patron or back us on subscribe stuff. The links to these will be down in the description. However, another way that you can help is to suggest to us people who might be interested in working with us that we could commission for music or help with animation or anything like that. If you know anybody who would like to participate in this project, please leave their names down below in the comments and link their Twitters or their profiles or whatever. At the moment, it's really just me, Laughing Man and Fubu working on this with a couple of people helping out with little things here and there. So we need all the help we can get. But that's all for me this week. I will hopefully be bringing you some more next week. I'll see you then. Bye.